Hello, this video is all about the dock, the deck, and some Seneca woodworking accessories. Now, the dock is a cradle. It's designed for the Festool Domino, either the DF500 or the XL700. What I have shown here is the XL700. You can see these small pieces of wood. These would be challenging to hold down, clamp, and route mortises in. But with the dock, we can put the Festool Domino in an upright configuration, like I have here. I'm utilizing the XL plate by Seneca Woodworking which also has accommodations for this Automax clamp. And you can see it just holds those small pieces nice and safe, right? And I can just make those plunge cuts. Super easy, very effective, safe. Look, Ma, one hand. <laughs> anyway, there's gonna be more about this dock and its practicality, uses. So stick around, I'll show you more. Yeah, man, that's how you do it. <laughs> so I'm creating these elongated slots, dominoes, right? I'm just using two marks and making it longer. These will be for buttons. I have a solid wood top going on top of this. This is a component to a dresser and those elongated slots will allow for seasonal movement, right? But this is kind of awkward to clamp to hold down for the domino machine. I could uh, put it here in this front vise like that. I have to really crank it down so that when I go to plunge this domino in, it doesn't slip down like that. The middle one is even more awkward to clamp because I could hold it down with a couple of F-style clamps here and that would work. Let me show you an easier way. All right, here we go. So this is known as the dock, and essentially it's just a cradle, right? Kind of like a docking station. Good place to set the machine when you're making adjustments, or let me drop this guy in place. Let's go ahead and move the camera angle a little bit. All right, that's better. And now we can grab our workpiece, rather than clamping it down, which could have been awkward, I can just get that machine running, vacuums on, and I can literally make the plunge, cutting these mortises one after another after another, quick, easy, and accurate. Oh yeah, and see this guy here? This angular piece of metal that's attached to the machine? That's called the deck, or the 90 degree deck. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more about that and its ease of use, functionality, advantages. It's incredible. All right, to start in this situation, you can see that I'm routing into the face of this workpiece, right? Not into the edge. So it would be kind of unstable because there's not a lot of surface area there. By adding this 90 degree deck, well, I can increase that work area or stability, creating precise, accurate mortises. This would also be ideal for routing into the middle of a sheet of material, for instance. You would simply pivot the fence out of the way, and with the deck in place, you could easily make your plunge cuts with greater accuracy and ease of use. So I thought I'd get the camera on the other side and give you a little bit of a better view. Of course, it just drops in place, super simple. The dock is clamped in place, but the machine just sets in the cradle. And you can see I have this board, super safe, fingers are plenty out of the way, easy to hold, although you could clamp it. And this works the same whether it's the larger machine, the XL700, or the smaller version, the DF500, and I'll show the cradle for that one here in a bit. This larger version for the XL700 is the one I introduced first. I had a lot of requests for the DF500, and boom, here we go. Beautiful, safe, accurate, and just makes things easy, yeah? All right, so here I have the DF500, and I'm gonna change the bit, do some setup, right? and. I've been using the cradle or the dock for so long that anytime I'm doing any of these adjustments or changing bits, you know, setting up angles, depths, all that jazz, I just reach for the dock because, well, it just makes it easier to use. You can see I'm kind of struggling on which way to turn the machine, moving my piece back and forth, making adjustments, then, yeah, you know what I mean? There's got to be a better way. 
And there is. It's called the dock. Let's grab that. This is the cradle for the DF500, and it's, it's clamped in place over the edge of your workbench because of the power cord, right? And see this little extrusion of plastic? Well, that engages with that slot in the dock, and that keeps the machine from twisting nice and solid. You can see it's tapered two degrees in each direction, so that cradles the handle of the DF500 extremely well. From there, I can simply make all my adjustments or even change the router bits, angles. It's all much easier when it's up a little closer to where you can see what's going on, yeah? Then, of course, the vacuum and the power cord. Super simple. Let's install the vacuum hose first. That goes on there. Oh, and check this out. I add these little white dots with some metal marker pans. And so I know that's the right orientation for that power cord. I don't really have to look at the end of it. Just makes it easy. And boom, that drops right in. How beautiful is that? All right, let's go ahead and route a small sample. This is a good example because it's, well, small. And that would be tricky to hold, right, any other way. But with the dock and the machine vertical, I can simply add a clamp to hold that piece in, in place, keep it nice and safe, my fingers are out of the way, and with one finger, two fingers, I'm making the plunge. It could not be easier. That's fantastic. All right, so let me show you a little bit more about the 90 degree deck. It comes supplied with these two five millimeter knobs. And the best way to attach it is to lay the machine right on its face on a known flat surface would be best right and of course we want this deck to be flush with the face of the base right that front edge and when installed correctly you'll see boom beautiful flush registration or alignment All right, so I've got some drawer boxes here and I'm gonna be adding some dominoes. I've got my 90 degree deck in place and I'm going to add a couple of stops to make this task a little bit easier. So I can get this where I want and make a mark right in there. I'm gonna scoot it over. I've got lines or registration marks on the drawer box. Well, I can line those up with my cursor and then make these registration marks and now I'm going to put this in the dock so we can uh, clamp some stop blocks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I love stop blocks, and these are actually sanding blocks, so sandpaper, right? Better gription. It'll keep those from moving, and I don't have to clamp them so crazy hard or tight. Let me just make sure that's square. Simple block of wood. Somewhere in there we can add a clamp. And <laughs> lost my clamp. There it is. Add one for the other side. And actually, this would have been an excellent place to use the Seneca Dock Plate XL because it already has the built-in stops. And so I have several drawers to do like this, and so each corner is going to get two dominoes. So by adding these stops, it'll just make things go much smoother and stay accurate. The stability of the deck makes a huge difference with these because any movement will cause that Baltic birch to splinter out, and it just won't look pretty. We need nice, clean, crisp mortises so we can insert through dominoes adding strength and a bit of a decorative element so i make this stuff in length or uh you know long like this but i make tons of them when i make them and so i have this from you know jobs in the past and they're always going to fit boom I'll cut those a tad long. I'll cut a couple of glue grooves to let the glue escape. And yeah, that'll greatly reinforce that corner, right? Yeah, man. Since these drawer boxes were made of Baltic birch, I just use maple to keep it subtle. 
but you could use a contrasting species as well. All right, so first time for me using these dudes. I think they're gonna work well. They look very well made. So we'll get one here and one there. And of course these dudes here for alignment. Yeah, that one's not centered, don't ask. <laughs> but um, yeah, I still have to make the cavity coming up through the bottom to accept this dude. And then that gets tightened. It'll pull this joint tight with uh, looks like maybe a five millimeter or maybe smaller four millimeter Allen. But uh, yeah, should work well. All right, so here is the 90 degree deck in action a little bit more. I've got these maple tops and I needed to cut these cavities for the Festool Domino connectors. I can utilize a clamp right onto that deck, that 90 degree deck, hold it in place and plunge from underneath. Makes it super easy and effective, safe, all that. Okay, and I have to show you the finished project. The connectors work great, not only in the shop where I glued all the joints with glue, but I was also able to make two separate sections that I could install it out in the field because this was a large reception counter for a doctor's office. So I've got a little bit more dock action to show you. You can see this long board here that was easy enough to clamp and route those mortises, but I have some smaller ones to do. So I've got a DF500 dock clamped in place. Let's go ahead and connect the power supply. Drop that dude in place. It's nice and secure. Hearing protection, safety first. Flip the switch, and rather than clamping the workpiece, I just bring it to the machine. Super simple, right? Very effective. And as I've mentioned, if you're concerned about holding that part, which some people could be, and that's all right. You could use a clamp or clamps. Lots of ways to do things. This is probably not the easiest type of clamp to use, but it works in F-Style. And as I mentioned earlier, fingers are safe. Nowhere near that bit. One finger operation. Boom. Piece is routed. Everybody's happy. All right. Well, I hope you found some situations with the dock in action that you can use. Just keeping things simple, safe, quick and easy, and accurate, yeah? And here are just a few of the many testimonials I receive constantly. I absolutely love seeing the 90 degree deck and the dock in action with their incredible versatility-ness, <laughs> right? These photos were pulled from a few of my highlights reels on my Instagram page. And of course, yes, used with their permission. And yeah, I get it. The dock isn't going to be used in every situation. There are many times when handheld just makes more sense. If you have a large slab or big boards, you're putting mortises into them. Sure, handheld makes sense. But I would say 90% of the time that I use my domino machine, it is in the cradle or the dock. Anyway, give it a try. I know you'll love it. If you already have one, thank you for the support. All right, thank you so much for watching. And remember to click like and subscribe.